So in this video I'm going to talk to you about some of the must-have tools and materials for 3D printing. These are tools and materials that I use alongside my personal printer on a daily basis and I found that just having them on hand really improves my workflow. Any products that I do mention in this video will be linked in the description below so if you are interested in any of them please go check out those links and let's get straight into the video. So first up are these measuring calipers and these are awesome. If you're into CAD and 3D modeling you really need to get your hands on some of these. When it comes to designing and taking measurements for your projects it makes things so much easier. You can see here with this example I've just got a block of wood and I'm measuring the width and you can see it gives you a measurement on the digital display. Highly recommend you get some. Next up are needle nose pliers and these really are a must have for 3D printing. Not only do they make cleaning up your stringy prints much easier, you can just grab all of that in one go and rip it off, but it's also awesome for grabbing these little bits of filament that come out of the extruder. Don't go near this with your fingers, just use the pliers and pull it away. This next one is also a must have. This is a nozzle cleaning kit and you've probably seen some of these before. This particular kit comes with a set of tweezers, which is another awesome tool to have around. But you can see that what you basically get are these long sort of needles and you, they come in different sizes. And what they do is they allow you to insert the needles up into the uh, extruder, the hot end. And it really prevents those clogged nozzles that you often run into in 3D printing. And if you run into a clog and you don't have any of these, it really can stop you dead in your tracks. And you can see that all you do is just stuff that up into the nozzle until you unclog it. Another awesome one here are these flat edge cutters. And the reason you want to get flat edge cutters is because when you get some of those nasty bits on your 3D prints, you can cut them and they'll be flush with the surface of your print. And you can see that here. You can then sand over it, smooth it off, and it'll be like they were never there. So another way you can solve a similar problem is using something like a scalpel. And this particular kit comes with a bunch of different scalpel attachments and different holders. And what you can do, again, is just use this, but rather than snip away at those nasty little bits, you can just kind of cut them off. And I like using this, it tends to be better to reach those sort of hard to reach places on a print. After making all those cuts, you can probably do something like a file. And there's loads of stuff like that out there. And what you can do is basically just remove any of those rough edges that may still be there after you made those cuts on your print. And I use these all the time, they're really great. Especially the rounded and triangle files that really help you get in those corners and 3D printed holes. This one is essential if you perform regular maintenance on your 3D printer. You know, 3D printers have all kinds of different bolts and nuts and things like that, but the Prusas in particular take a lot of these Allen wrenches, and this one covers everything. It's got every one you can imagine. And as you know, I've made a separate video about maintenance, and I often go around tightening all the bolts on the printer. This next one is a metal wire brush, and these come in all different form factors, but this one in particular can be attached to a drill, but you can also buy handheld ones too. And what these are useful for is cleaning the nozzle. And you want to be careful doing this and make sure that your printer is turned off when you make contact with the nozzle. And be extra cautious if you're like me and you're using a drill to do it. And you can see that doing this achieves some pretty good results. Another material really worth having around is wet and dry sandpaper. I use this all the time with my 3D prints. And if you watch one of my recent videos, you'll have seen that I printed a 3D model, spray painted it and I used wet and dry sandpaper to sand it down and it turned out really really smooth so if you want to get awesome smooth prints sandpaper is a great way to achieve that. After doing all that sanding a great way to clear up a lot of that dust is just using a simple paintbrush. These are really cheap you can buy them in packs and super simple you just wipe it off but it's really really neat and awesome to have around. Another great one to have around for patching up 3D prints is polyfiller and you can basically just use this to fill in any holes or gaps in your 3D prints. A great example I've got here is the underside of this 3D print. There's a couple of holes and gaps in it. So what you can do is just grab a bit of polyfiller, apply it on, and once you've applied it all, you can smooth it off with a piece of cardboard or a card or something like that. Let it dry, then you can sandpaper the whole thing, sand it down, and that'll leave you with a super smooth surface that you can paint. If you want to take your 3D prints to the next level, some great things to have around are spray paints. This is a satin white paint, and this one here is a clear seal gloss. Uh, it's a matte gloss, which is really good for 3D prints. If you haven't seen my recent project video, I'll leave a card above, so go check it out. But you can see that I've used spray paint on it, and the result is really, really good, especially with a matte gloss. 
you can really take your 3D prints to the next level and they look really professional. And I had real fun doing this and it was a big learning curve. But if you're interested in a video on how you can spray paint your 3D prints, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and make that video. If you want to go that extra mile and add those finishing touches on your 3D prints, a really good type of paint to use is acrylic. And you can buy these acrylic sets on Amazon, they're super cheap. And what you can do is just add colour and add a lot of life to your 3D prints, you know. After priming them with some white paint, the paint goes right on and it dries really fast. I recommend you go check out this recent project video. You can see I did a time lapse of me painting it. It looks awesome, I was really proud of it. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is the materials and tools that you need to service your 3D printer. I have an entire separate video on this, which I'll link in a card above. So make sure you go check that out. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I'll see you on the next video. So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos. It means a lot. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content and please leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below to my Patreon where you can support me financially and in return you get access to some exclusive content, but it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of the videos on screen and I hope you have an awesome day.